Today, tonight, words of gratitude as one Ocoee firefighter is on the mend. Taylor Pajot suffered a seizure back in April. At first, he thought it was nothing until doctors told him he had a brain tumor. Pajot underwent surgery and it's been removed, but now it's recovery time. As News 6's Brian Didlake found out, all new at 11, a community is standing behind the young man. It's been quite a few weeks since Taylor Pajot has been able to work at the Ocoee Fire Department, but Pajot says that although the road to recovery has been hard, it's the community support that's helped him keep his spirits high and smile on his face. They don't even know, my, you know, barely my name, you know, but when they found out there was a problem, they just instantly, you know, jumped on board to, to help us out. And sitting with 26-year-old Taylor Pajot and his wife Emily, both say they still can't believe the support they've had on their journey. Taylor, a probationary firefighter, was undergoing intensive training this past April when something went terribly wrong. I had a, a seizure for over two minutes. And that seizure led to a diagnosis of a tumor in his brain, which caused compression and displacement in his brain. But that didn't phase Taylor when doctors broke him the news. I actually replied, I said, Okay, well, when can we get this done? Because I have a shift Thursday. Unfortunately, it wasn't that easy. Pajot still has months of recovery left, and although the operation went well, Taylor was only two months into being a firefighter, and benefits like FMLA still hadn't kicked in for him. But as Taylor's wow. wife, Emily, yeah, says favor was on their side. Well, okay, so the union members, they um, volunteered to work his shifts for like the next two and a half weeks because we didn't know what was going to happen, and they wanted him to keep his health insurance, and they wanted him to get paid. And favor still didn't stop there as the Peugeot family says they were blessed even after the surgery when Taylor came home. A moment captured in a scrapbook. And so they circled around us and prayed for us and it was really emotional. I think that was the first time Taylor actually <laughs> cried. Taylor can now walk and is on a fast track to getting back on his feet full time but says if anyone could take something from his story. Whatever you're going through, whether it's a uh, whether it's a suicidal thoughts or, or cancer or anything, please reach out to somebody because facing it alone is so much harder than, than what I had to do. This is easy. You know, this is easy compared to other people's stories. And the Akoi Fire Department and the Pajot family have set up a GoFundMe to help Taylor on his road to recovery. You can find that link on our website and mobile app. But for now, we're in Akoi. Brian Dillett getting results, News 6.